It's go time. With all my materials set out in front of me, it's time for our cutting stuff up montage. But before we do that, I will remind you again that I have a set of plans for this for free on my website, diybuilds.ca, as well as all of my other projects. Let's get cutting. So with everything cut, we can move on to adding our joinery, and for that we're going to be using pocket holes basically everywhere. Now we're over here at my homemade pocket hole machine. If you want to know more about this, there's several videos detailing the build of this and adding features to it, but this is going to be used to drill inside pocket holes so we don't see any of those holes. Now I have my fence set for this 2 by material here. We're going to change the fence when it comes to the one by material, and all I do is I pull down on this with the machine running, and it drills a pocket hole. You can use the simple $20 jig, but this is faster. We can now move on to assembly and we're beginning with our base, which is made out of our two by material. You see, I've got my pocket screws already loaded in the corners that make things extra simple. And then I've got my clamp here as when you drive in pocket screws, they kind of want to move all over the place on you. So we'll get those driven in with our drill with our clutch on a medium level setting. You don't want this to blow right through. You want the clutch to cam out perfect every time. And then we'll come back after this thing is assembled and we'll add some gussets to the corner. We'll just glue those in and that'll make this super strong. It'll never come out of square. So while well, the glue dries on our lower platform, it's on to assembly the upper platform. We're gonna start with the perimeter, again, pocket screws in all the corners, then we'll lay out our five slats in the middle. Half the assembly is hanging over the end, so I've had to put a little bit of counterweight on this so it doesn't flip over. And I'm just making sure to check everything with my square before driving in these screws. So I've gone and marked out the five slat locations. There's going to be one on either end right above our bottom base. And then the three in the middle will be floating with support on the edges from that base as well. Everything's got three pocket holes in both sides. So we'll just drive those in and move on. So just like on the base, I'm going to add some gussets to the corners here. We're going to glue them in. The brad nails will hold them in place. The only thing is we just got to make sure that the same height as our slats here as the plywood is going to sit on top of these. So last thing I want to do before adding the plywood top to this is I want to glue this little strip on the back end here. That way the plywood has somewhere to attach to on this end. And again, just more glue and brad nails holding it in place. So I did a dry assembly on the plywood. Both pieces fit in here really nice and snug. We're just going to put glue along all of these strips of wood keep everything down with some inch and a half me nails, and we're ready to move on. So the last thing I wanna do before we get to sanding, staining, and finishing everything with polyurethane is I'm gonna add a eighth inch round over to all these outside and inside edges. So I took everything outside, blew off all the dust. Now we're back inside and ready for staining. We're going to use this chocolate verithane stain here. We're going to brush it on super thick, come back in a few seconds, wipe it off with a rag, and then we'll move on to polyurethaning as our last step before this project is complete. I'm going to do three coats with a light sanding in between. 
we're done. So now we're inside the house and I've given this about a week to off gas so there's no more smells. So now we're going to permanently attach the base to the top. You see everything's flipped over right now so I can work at it from the bottom side. And we're just going to put it in the corner like this, attached to this, attached to this. And then we're going to go ahead and add some night light strip lights around the outside. Flip this over and we'll get our baby sleeping on his new bed. Ooh, tight fit.